They've heard of the ECB stress tests, but the hackney carriage drivers at Vienna's St. Stephen's Square are pretty relaxed. They don't earn a fortune, but their business seems immune to economic crisis. Are they sometimes worried about money? No, what for? Apparently savings up to 100,000 are safe, and I don't have that much. People like to be pessimistic these days, I don't know why. Not me, I'm optimistic. Optimism wasn't enough for the Austrian Volksbank. The UVAG failed its stress test. If the economy were suddenly to collapse, like the test simulated, it wouldn't survive. It doesn't have enough reserves. It's over 860 million euros short. This, although half the bank already belongs to the state, which bailed it out when it lost 1.3 billion euros last year. Rival firms are playing down the situation. They say the bank's risky investments in southeastern Europe are to blame. The fact that there's a capital shortfall was to be expected because of the Eastern European assets. Romania hasn't yet been sold, also the real estate sector. It's not really a surprise, and the bank's done a lot in 2014 to overcome the shortfall. But not enough, apparently. Austrians are aware that banks can go bust, but usually in Spain, Italy or Greece. Many would not have thought one of their national banks could be affected. You wouldn't think so. You think it's always somewhere else, not in Germany or Austria. What's the alternative? If I put money under my mattress, it'll be worth even less. I'm glad that the test has shown it's effective, that it's got teeth. Otherwise, it would be unreliable. But is that really the case? Six Austrian banks took the ECB's test. All of them have strong dealings in Eastern Europe. The ECB characterized the granting of credit in this area as highly risky. Yet, five banks passed the test. Some analysts, such as Franz Hahn, are surprised by this. The test results show that criteria are fulfilled, but not that they are an indication of stability. He thinks the test criteria were too lax. The banking sector generally does not have enough reserves, and banks are not encouraged by the regulating authorities to have higher equity ratios. So the banks are seduced, let's say easily seduced, into adopting very risky business models. The Reif Eisenbank, with investments in Hungary, the Czech Republic, Poland and Romania, was also tested. The analysts here are glad it passed. What can be said is that the stress test criteria for Eastern Europe were relatively hard compared to those for currency, or those for the so-called sovereign haircuts, i.e. how much loss I have to take with government bonds. So we had very hard criteria, and I wouldn't really say that the stress test wasn't strict enough. Either way, it's too late for Austria's Volksbank. It's due to be liquidated within the next year.